Hi everybody and welcome back to Just Paint It. Well, sorry I've been away for a little bit, uh, but I'm just getting better from a really bad flu. It's been going around my house and everybody got sick. Not at the same time, but you know I've been fighting this cold for a while and you know and it just hit me last week really bad and you know I'm just starting to feel better. So if I sound a little funny, that's the reason why and I'll try to do my best. Okay, so welcome back. Um, I have a lot of stuff to go over. You know, hopefully I'll try to make you keep it as short as possible. Uh, if I have a little time, I'll show you what's on the bench uh, for this week for me. Um, but there's other stuff going on in the hobby world. Um, so first off, let me start off with um, some um, uh, YouTubers. Uh, we have uh, one that's been established already, but I want to give him a shout out and, you know, just to, for you guys to maybe visit his site if you haven't yet. Uh, he just doesn't do uh, garage kits, but he also does 3D printing uh, reviews and paint ups and things like that. And the gentleman is Brett Crew from the Figure Kit Garage. And as you can see there, that's his uh, YouTube channel. And Brett just got a bunch of videos up because he just got a, I guess he got a huge delivery on a bunch of kits. And he did a bunch of reviews on that stuff. And he's got an amazing collection. And I, I seriously think that you guys should check him out because he's also an amazing painter. He's got some really cool paint-ups, uh, tutorials and stuff like that on his channel. And he's a really cool guy too. And he's been around. He's been doing this for a little while. And you know, I, I you know I've been seeing his stuff for for a, quite a bit right now, and he has uh, a really cool channel, a lot of cool reviews. He's got a bunch of amazing kits. Really jealous of a lot of stuff that he has, but he's an amazing uh, reviewer and a painter. So I suggest that you guys go check him out, give him a shout out. You know, you know, hit and like, subscribe to his channel because he's always got something new going on. And just recently, like I said, he just put up a ton of videos. So Brett Krug, he's been around for a while, and he's a bun he's a member of a bunch of those uh, Facebook uh, pages for for paint ups and and garage kits and all that stuff. So, and he's very active in those channels and stuff like that. So if you guys want to see what he's going going on and what's got coming up on his channel and stuff, that just hit him up. All right, he's a really cool guy, and if you have any, ever have any questions, hit him up, and he, I'm sure he's more than help more than happy to help you guys out. All right, so another YouTuber on the spotlight today, okay? She's 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 an amazing painter, and when it comes to the pan pastels, the stuff that I got, I used guys for my figures. She's like the the queen of pan pastels, all right? She does do a seminar at uh, Wonderfest on pan pastels and things like that. So, but she just started her YouTube channel, okay, and it's just brand new she's only got a few videos up in this Anya's workshop all right and she has a couple of um, skin tone tutorials up and I highly suggest you guys check it out because you really want to know she she's also has well let me continue with this she she's she's very she's an amazing painter okay and a modeler and you guys should really check it out because she when it comes to pen pastels she she's the one all right she's the one that that has it honed down and and um and does a beautiful job beautiful job with her work and stuff with the pan pastels but i should actually guys check it out she also has an article okay um in the last afm magazine okay and um a lot of very highly detailed article and stuff like that and i always tell you guys to suggest you to get this magazine because it has a ton of tutorials and stuff like that, and what other painters are doing, you know, professional painters. And I highly suggest you guys check this magazine out because I think it's a great resource if you're trying to learn how to paint and how to do skin tones and just how to model and things like that. They always got an article about just about everything in there. So I highly suggest that you guys at least check one one of these um, AFM magazines and you be the judge for yourself and, you know, the quality of the magazine and stuff like that. All right, because I always suggest it, and I think it's a huge resource that you can have in your arsenal. But again, go to Anya's page, check her out. You know, you know, try to help out to build her YouTube channel. You know, like her subscriber channel, follow her. She's an amazing scene painter, 
when it comes to Pam Spestels, I think she's she's the top. And, you know, you can learn a lot from her. Okay, because I have. All right, so check her out. Anya's Workshop. She also has a Facebook page. I'm going to leave all the links down below for everybody, for um, Brad and Anya's and AFM and all that other stuff and anything else that comes up here as we go along. All right, so you guys know that I had a giveaway not too long ago, and um, uh, the winner was Thomas Cochran, who won the the Hoggle from Payne's Labyrinth, from Labyrinth, from the movie Labyrinth, and he did a paint up on it. All right, so I want to give uh, Thomas a shout out because I mean, he, I think he did a beautiful job. All right, it didn't take him that long to paint it. Well, he said he didn't have nothing on his workbench. So he just went out there and painted it, but I think he did a beautiful job on it. And that's the kit that he won here. And guys, and if you guys want to share your paint-ups, and if you learn anything from my channel, from doing the paint-ups and things like that, or if you just want to share your work and anything, just send me the pictures and I'll put them, I'll put a little, a little slide at the end of the, the of the show and stuff like that so people can see your work and, all, and things like that. You know, don't be shy. Look what Thomas did. He did a beautiful job on his hoggle, man. I think it was a great job. Great job, Thomas. Congratulations on the kid. I hope you're enjoying it. All right. <clears throat> so, well, we're moving along over here. So, um, I'm going to do a little couple, couple quick um, kit reviews here. All right. And I got a. I, I just. I'm going to be totally honest with you. This uh, this gentleman has been around for a little bit, but I just I just found out about him because I didn't know that he made kits. But he's an artist. Okay, he has done commission work and stuff like that for other companies and things like that for producers and things But I just found out about him because when he posted this kit on his site I was like amazed by it by the, the detail and everything like that and let me show you what, what it is His name is Jesse Rubin. Okay, and he has a Facebook page and another page somewhere in our station or somewhere else that I, I will leave a link down below for both of them all right, but uh, Jesse just came out with a beautiful kit. Let me show you what it is. And I kind of jumped on it really quick when he posted. And it's a Neanderthal sculpt, a bust. And just the detail. Because before I bought, I, I, I bought it, I went to see a little research on the kind of work that he did. Like I said, this I'm fairly new at this scene, so I didn't really know who he was. And uh, I wanted to see what kind of other work he did, and he just has an amazing talent because this thing has so much detail. All right, now this is a um, this is one of his kits that he primed already, and right, because he wanted to show the details on the kit. And look at look at just the detail on that thing, man. It's just amazing. And let me show you the one that he sent me real quick. Okay, and. All right, so you get a certificate, okay, with his signature, the name, the date, and all that, and the number, number six. Okay, he also sent me a sticker, okay, which is really cool. All right. I, mean, I don't know, I, don't, I think I'm going to frame this and put it next to it when I'm done painting it. And then you get the bus. All right, now I know it's a little... I didn't get a chance to prime it or clean it or anything. It still has a little bit of mold line. <coughs> Excuse me. It still has a little bit of a mold line that I have to clean up. But it's not bad at all. It's really not nothing. It, this is nothing, guys. All right, for the cleanup. All right. But look at this. Look at the detail on that. Just the skin and everything. And when you guys go to his page, look at the paint-ups that he did on some of his other stuff. He just has an amazing talent all around. Not just a not just a sculptor, but a painter. All right. Now, if you're wondering, I'm way okay with this kit not having hair. Okay. Because you can actually put real hair on this if you want, and that's something that I've been practicing on another kit, and something that I want to do with this kit. And I might be able, to, I might be doing that on on this channel eventually down the road. But I'm okay with painting it like that, to be honest with you, too. Just like this, because you can do a lot of, a lot of detail work. Look at all the painting and stuff on the head. 
it's just a beautiful kit. And go check out the stuff that he has sculpted before and things like that. And you guys are going to be totally amazed when I tell you the amount of detail. And this is hand sculpting, guys. This is not 3D. This is all hand sculpting. Alright. Beautiful work, Jesse. Beautiful work. I really love the kit. Detail in the mouth, the teeth, the tongue. But this is this is so so cool. So detailed. I just love stuff like this, guys. This is how this is why I fell in love with the hobby. Just people that can do this with their hand. It's just amazing. It amazes me every day. All the time. Alright. So check out Jesse's site. I'm gonna leave a link down below for it. Alright, and um and check it out because I mean the the work that he does and that he has there and in the painting when you guys go in there and look at his the painting he has done on some of the kits before the realism that you get that he has gotten out of those is just just freaking amazing okay all right so uh, for this next review I want to clip in here a little short here we go Alright, so welcome back. So that's right. Hang Hang's model kit. It's got a new release. And when I saw that he was doing this on his page, I, I says, you know, I gotta get one of those. And as soon as he released them, I went out and bought one. Alright. So yeah, so it, the kit is based on a on a on a cover on a comic cover that was supposed to come out, but you know, with the little controversy, I think they uh, they nixed the cover, and this was supposed to be the cover based on this artwork. I'm not gonna get into it, why it got canceled out and all that stuff like that, but um, but the kids based on this artwork, and let me let me specify that artwork, okay, and I'm gonna leave it there, okay, but I think it's a beautiful kit. Hang just, you know, the quality of stuff that you're going to get, as you saw in the video, how Hang meticulously, I just showed a little bit, but the meticulously how he does his kit and the fit and finish on these things always amazes me when, he's, when I get these kits, okay, from Hang, because he has an amazing talent of, I think it's the pride, more pride, you know, he takes a lot of pride in how the fit and finish of his kits, you know, are presented to his clients okay and you know it's no different with the one that I just received from him on this one all right so I'm going to show you a couple more pictures and then I'm going to show you the one that he sent me really quick okay and um and again you know amazing job by hang let me show you the one that I have and I mean Guys, let me show you really quick how he takes care of the fit where you, there's like no seeming needed on these kits when you get them. Alright. 
hardly any cleanup. You know, I just you just need to really buff these out, basically, and that's it. But hardly any cleanup on these. Now this was 3D designed, but these are casted. Okay, these are not 3D printed. These are casted from an original piece into a mold, and this is solid resin. All right. So the pieces, this when you combine this whole piece, is pretty big. Now he had designed a base for these, but the base would have been huge. Okay, and it would have been too heavy and too probably too expensive to ship. Now, if you go to his website, you probably see pictures with the base. Is he going to make that available or not? I'm not sure. But I'm pretty happy like this because my idea to do with this was to put it on a plinth and, you know, the ones with the backdrops and maybe do something subtle with the backdrop because I still want to keep it dark, kind of like with the, the picture, and maybe go in that route as far as the painting goes. All right, doing more of that comic artistic scene right there that uh, that was on the painting and that's the kind of the route that I wanted to go with this but here's the Joker I showed you the arm how it fits the head no seaming needed to be done there either beautiful beautiful detail sculpt the hat it's backwards okay just just awesome man look at this you can see this like no seam work needed to be done there he takes a lot of pride in this man you can tell and just how he ships it and how you receive the kit from him it's always always a pleasure to you know open the box and see you know what you get and everything like that here's Batgirl okay again perfect fit in the head and look at that Okay. Look at all the detail, the zipper, the collar, the, the the little leather strap there. Like you gotta handle this very carefully, guys, because you don't want to snap one of these or break any of the hairs. Because look at that. And this is casted. Like how it casts this, it just amazes me to get all the the little detail stuff. You know what I mean? there the stitching that's all shown right there guys look at that let me see if you can see it yeah, you see it that's awesome just this amazing there's a little tab for the collar with that that thing just amazes me that he was able to get that in the cast just awesome all right again let me show you the head real quick all right there she is Okay. The same thing with her, with her arms. You're not going to get any seam. You don't need to do any seaming. Perfect fit. Look at this. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I should go arm real quick. Okay. Same thing. This. All you need to do is just buff the sucker out, man, because I don't see no seam lines around this thing. A little bit there. Just needs to be buffed out. Not even sanded, just buffed. Alright. And let me show you. These are two arms. Okay, one is dangling over her shoulder. Okay, with the gun. And he makes sure that you get the kits. Look at this. The smaller pieces, he's always going to separate them. And I thought I had one over here, but here's the one hand. Okay, awesome. Look at the detail on the glove, it's just and then the gun. It's like a dirty, hairy freaking gun. Look at this thing. Nice revolver. All right, this one just dangles over her shoulder like that. All right, cool, awesome, love it. I'm so glad I got this. And I'm going to segue into something else here because um, now this now I know some of the guys you you guys have been following me and you know that on Saturdays we have. Um, 
we have a paint up group that we do on Saturdays. Um, with Gilbert's uh, uh, Red Dragon Model Works, and we do uh, a, a little uh, live streaming of the Way of the Dragon. We do a group paint up, and you know, Hank's been one of our sponsors for 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 a little show, and uh, he's provided some of the kits and stuff like that. And we've been working on we've been working on uh, 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 the series from the Danger Girls. Okay, but the Joker is going to be one of this, uh, is going to be a paint up with the group because some of the guys also uh, got this kit. So we were thinking about doing a paint up with uh, with this kit with the group. So that's in the near future. All right, but right now, uh, uh, we, the, we, we've been working on the Danger Girls. We just got done with uh, Sydney, the Australian girl. And, and now we've been... Uh, we just we started working last week on um, Abby Chase, okay, and this is mine. That's the one that I painted. It's not done yet. I still have to base her, and I still have to do a couple little touch-ups. But uh, this Saturday, probably this videos will be releasing that Saturday, okay. Uh, we'll be finishing up uh, with with her, okay, and then we have a third one which is going to be towards the end of the month, which is the Russian girl. All right, so that's my Abby Chase, the one that I painted. Right. And let me show you another picture. Okay, we've been having a lot of fun doing this, and a lot of people have been joining us. And I suggest if you guys want to learn how to, you know, how to paint, or if you guys want to give us some pointers or anything, we have a lot of fun there. It's just a bunch of old guys, you know, bad jokes and just painting kits and stuff like that. But um, a lot of people have been following us lately and uh actually people have been joining us from home and it's open to anybody and anybody is welcome to to come and join us and follow along and if you want to buy the kit that we're painting that week you're more than welcome to come and join us either on the live stream or just do it from home and you can send us pictures and we'll show them on the show and things like that you know people has been doing that All right, we've got a lot of people that are doing that right now they're joining us as we paint along all right, we don't just do hang stuff, okay? I just want to run that by you. We also, next week, well, it's not next week. It's the um, Saturday the 18th. Oh, yeah, it's next week. Uh, we're going to start painting. Uh, Lagatha from the Vikings. All right, we did Rolo, and now we're doing Lagatha. Okay, and this kit right here is, is provided by NY3D Creations. All right, he printed the kits for us, you know, it's not free, you know, we had to buy them. Uh, but if you guys are interested to follow us along, when we do a kit like this, a lot of times we have uh, NY3 creation print for the group, and we buy it from him, and he'll send us the kits. And, uh, and uh, you know, we pick the ones that, you know, uh, uh, that we can get in a decent amount of time delivered, you know, printed and delivered and things like that. So, you know, we've got to take those, those things into consideration too. So, but... Um, uh, this is the kit that we'll be painting next week. Okay, and I'm going to leave a link down below for NY3 Creations if you guys are interested. All right, you can hit them up. I don't know if you're going to be able to get this kit on time if you order it now. But if you've been following Red Dragon Model Works, he had when the deadline was to order this if you wanted to follow along. And if you want to follow us along in the future, I recommend to go to uh, Red Dragon Model Works and check out the way of the dragon postings and stuff like that. And he usually lets people know um when the next kit is up and you know how far how, how fast you got to order if you want to follow along and anybody as well from overseas in the u.s canada and things like that all right so the next thing is we are doing a, i am doing a giveaway but i'm doing a giveaway here in this channel uh the giveaway that we're going to be doing is going to be at the red dragon model works it's going to be for the way of the dragon and the kit one of the kits that we're going to be giving away is a Hank Helger's kit all right now to participate in this I'm going to leave a link down below for the giveaway and if you guys want to want to participate in it's free shipping to anywhere to the US Canada and we open this 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 one up for Europe 
okay so if you guys want to want to want the free giveaway i'm going to leave the link down below where you're going to go to red dragon model works and i'm going to link, leave a link for the rules how to participate into the giveaway okay i'm not going to show you the kit here if you want to see the kit that we're giving away you're going to have to go over there and just follow the rules and gilbert you know explains it pretty well about what to do about getting the the free kit if you want to participate okay and this is a way to say thank you to everybody who's been following us on the channel during our paint ups on Saturdays uh, for the Way of the Dragon and our sponsor Hang Hilger with Hang's Model Kits and just a way to say thank you to everybody for everything because um, you know um, people have been really cool about it people have been learning I've been learning along because we have a nice group of people that share information and you know come up with great ideas for the next episodes and things like that and I, it's been a really really fun experience for me and i think for a lot of the guys and I, I really encourage you guys to come and check it out really and you know if you have the time it's always recorded and you know you can see it later on and you can just join us live and you're more than welcome to come and participate okay and, and learn something all right so that's really it what i have for you guys today and is uh, you know it was a little quickie all right, just try to get some information out for you guys. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the little short one. And I apologize for my voice and my cold. I know I'm a little bit late, na nasally, but I'm just getting over this really bad flu. And I'm happy that I was able to at least get this out so you guys can get some more information on, on uh, things that are going on in the modeling world. All right, make sure you check out all the links that I leave down below for our friends of the modeling hobby and everything. And give everybody a shout out. Hit at least a like on their channels and stuff like that for Brad, for 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 Anya, Red Dragon. Check out Hank Hiller's uh, Model Kits uh, Facebook page and um, check out all the stuff. Hank's got a ton of new stuff coming out. NY3D Creations got a ton of new stuff coming out. Check this site too, please. And and uh, Hobby Mike has got a lot of cool kits coming out, so check his site out too. Um, and just thank you guys thank you for everything and thank you for all the comments and you know and everything that you guys have been posting i really appreciate it you know i'll try to do a, a little bit better as far as uh, my next recording uh with my voice stay safe and take care.